Hello, and welcome for uh, tuning in to another uh, weekly update of Luxury Homes here on Oahu. And actually, this is an update for the past two weeks. I apologize I didn't get a, um, a video out uh, two weeks ago. This thing, market's still incredibly busy over here. Uh, despite the higher interest rates, uh, in the last week, I've had three transactions going to escrow, two in one day. So there's still a lot of, um, a lot of interest here. Um, but again, a lot of it's driven by lack of inventory. Anything that's a desirable property that's priced well. I'm still seeing uh, multiple offers quite often. Um, pretty amazing. But that being said, um, so for the past two weeks, uh, pretty good activity. 10 new listings and six sold properties. Um, and for any of these new listings that have a video tour, I'm going to be inser inserting the link into the uh, video description. And let's start with this property here over in Wailaiki. And if you're not familiar with the neighborhood of Wailaiki, I'm gonna just show this to you really quickly. Just outside of a uh, Waikiki area. Very uh, steep road you have to get up to get to this residence, um, but it's a, some of these homes have beautiful outstanding views. So this is a three bed, three and a half bath. It's priced at 3.188. Four parking stalls built in 1997, a little over 2,700 square feet and just under 7,700 square foot lot. Here's your views, and these are very typical views for any home in the Wailai Iki. Well maintained, kind of a, this is a, very typical look you're going to find for homes in this neighborhood. Oh, there's split AC. This home does not have a video tour, so I'm going to show you a uh, majority of the pictures. Based on condition, though, I think it's priced pretty well. Not the biggest pool, but can cool off. Diamond Head, you're gonna get some excellent sunset views. Good example right here. Okay, moving on next, um, residence in uh, Manoa Lower. Um, this is a five bed, four bath, priced at 3.5 million. Bridget built in 1940, remodeled in 2022. A little over 21 square feet and just over 6,800 square feet. I'll just point this out to you really quickly. Manoa, very desirable area. Um, so this one's just outside of town. The deeper you get into Manoa Valley, um, definitely get rain, rain is very common. It's a very green, lush area, but down here it won't be too bad. Manoa is very popular for older homes that have been just like really well maintained. Nice view of Diamond Head. No video tour for this property either, so I'll get, show you most of the pictures. Tough thing about Manoa is like uh, certain areas, pretty high density living. See if your neighbors are, as you can tell, very close by. So not a whole lot of privacy. Next uh, out in Houla, um, this is a home that was built in 2008. It's a three bed, three and a half bath, priced just under 3.8 million, a little over 3,000 square feet, pretty large uh, uh, lot size over 31,000. This is an ocean front. And this is a community that you have a monthly dues, uh, $327 a month. Now, if you're not familiar with Hula, um, I'm going to show you on a map in just a moment. It's, it's really a destination spot. Um, I'm a fan. It may not appeal to everybody. Um, just due to its location, you get more for your dollar out there. Uh, 
but what a great backyard. Pretty reefy on that shoreline. And here's a view of the map right here. So right between La Ie and Hula. Um, so in order to get from Honolulu, the airport up here, you're generally going to drive over on the windward side over the, excuse me, the Pali, the Liki Liki, and then work your way up this road. Um, I'd say usually it's about an hour, maybe more to get out there. So again, more of a destination spot. Here's a neat one over on the North Shore, Kualima, uh, 3.9 million, just went on the market yesterday, four bed, four bath, um, about 2,500 square feet living space, um, just about 2.75 uh, acres of land here, 118,000 uh, square feet. Do you have an association fee of $448? This is pretty stellar though. If you're looking for really seclusion, country living on uh, Oahu, uh, this is hard to beat here. So just point out really quick. This is a Turtle Bay over here. Here's a Turtle Bay Resort. And private community, gated community. Yeah, really neat looking. I think that's priced pretty well at 3.9. Uh, no video tour for this one either. And I'll just show you on the map really quick here. So pretty much just on the tip of Oahu. This is an interesting location. You could either go, if you come from Honolulu, you could go through uh, Wahiwa, pass by Haleiwa and Pupukea, or go up this way, as I just mentioned the, in the last listing. But yeah, Turtle Bay is right up here. Uh, this is really uh, definitely just more of a destination area. Moving on. Uh, beautiful home on Koko Kai, Seven Point Poo Drive, listed at 4.5 million, five bed, five and a half bath. Originally built in 1969, it was remodeled in 2009. Almost 3,900 square feet of living space and uh, just over 15,600 uh, square feet of a lot size. Here's all your views here. Coco Kai, just outside Hawaii Kai area. So here you have Hawaii Kai, the marina. Very desirable, prestigious place to live here. Coco Kai, you have the port lock over here, the triangle here. This is a neat home. Um, Oh, excuse me. This does have a video tour. So this is really ne near the spot called Spinning Caves, which is a very popular kind of local and more and more tourists are aware of it now due to social media, but a neat place to uh, hang out by the ocean on the lava rock. Amazing views here, 180 uh, panoramic views. As you can see, home's been very well maintained. And this is the, at the end of a road, so it's gonna be very quiet um, for the most part. Only concern I have, I'm gonna to get to the pictures is just do this location. So home is here, there's a lot here. And if that's ever built on, you're gonna lose a good chunk of your views. You're gonna still have some great diamond head um, what's really views, but you're going to lose a lot of that. Here's a better photo right here. So just something to keep in mind. These homes here, obviously, <laughs> are the no risk of having your views obstructed. Okay, moving back to the North Shore La Ie. This is a new construction. Um, four bed, four full bath, price just under $5 million. A little over 2,800 square feet, lot size is 10,500. Oceanfront, new construction. This is not very common on Oahu to have uh, new builds. 
um, on the North Shore, especially oceanfront as well. Beautiful beach. What a great photo here and a great spot. Unique lot, very narrow, but long. Here's the property right here. And keep in mind here, you have a little river here. So they got the wall here, but you know, there's always a risk of flooding. This area could flood potentially depending if um, you get some really heavy rainfall. Neat picture. Be curious if anyone wants to leave your, if you want to leave a comment on what you think of this kind of a finished work for a new build in, uh, in the North Shore. I probably would have done a little differently, but that's just my preference. I'd probably, probably make it more, a little more tropical Hawaiian feel to it. And there are no, uh, or there's no video tour. So I'm just going to show you most of these pictures here. There you go. Next, uh, this is a, not really a luxury home. This is a unique listing. Hololo, um, $6 million. This has been on the market for almost about two years now. Um, they originally priced it at a 6.3. So it's two homes on the property, 10 beds, six baths, um, almost 6,000 square feet, but almost uh, about nine acres of land. So it's an orchid farm. So here's your properties here, all the greenhouses here. So a lot of land's not usable. And I'll show you some pictures, then I'll show you the location. So, I mean, if you're looking for, uh, I mean, this is pretty much in the city. So pretty remarkable to have this kind of much land and an orchid farm just right outside of a Honolulu Waikiki area. There's some pictures of the main house. So if that resonates with you, give me a call. I'd be happy to get you more information. Just know built in 1951. And again, here's the location. And just outside of a Waikiki on a little area. So nice up here, um, really high density living all around here, but the further you get up, it gets a little, little better. Um, I've considered uh, owning there at times. Here's a neat one, uh, Hawaii Loa Ridge, 7.8 million, six beds, four, four full baths, two half baths, a little 5,600 square feet. Lot size is just under 9,500 square feet. And here's your views. I've talked about Hawailoa quite often in the past because there's been a, it's a very popular place. One of the most prestigious uh, neighborhoods on the island. It is a gated secure entrance. You have an association dues of 345 that covers the 24 hour security. Um, there's also a clubhouse that has tennis courts. Beautiful home. Only thing though is, uh, I wish it was located on a different spot in Hawailoa Ridge. Um, so you can see here, you still have a lot of your neighbor's roof lines obstructing some views. And a home like this at this price point, um, again, if it was just situated more on the ridge, the views would be really spectacular. But this one, I don't know. I think it's priced a little high. Nice finishes. I mean, it looks excellently maintained, modern. I mean, what a beautiful walk and shower and the tile. And this home does have a video tour. And this was built in 2014, remodeled in 2023. And I'll just point this out really quick if you're not from with Wailoa. So it's just outside Waikiki on your way to Hawaii Kai. Um, pretty steep hill you have to go up to. There's a nice park down here some good surf spots, and then some really great restaurants over in Hawaii Kai, as well as obviously town area. 
Okay, Mono Olu states 7.88 million. This is a three bed, three and a half bath, uh, almost a little over 3,000 square feet, about two acres of land built in 2016. Here's your views. This is a really spectacular home. Just a video tour. And if you're not familiar with this, this, this uh, community, so this is over deep on the west side of uh, Oahu. No traffic, you can get out here in about an hour or so. Actually, I currently have a listing at Makaha Valley. So this is a gated community. Um, they just, so you have Mono Olu Estates, and then uh, just recently they uh, developed, uh, it's called the Cottages at Mono Olu. And those are zone resorts you can legally do in nightly rentals in these single family homes that are I'm a, I'm a big fan of. Um, these homes on the estates, really large lots. This is one of the best homes I've seen, but I mean, very secluded for the most part, very quiet. There's a nice golf course in this community. But I just, this, this home to me is just spectacular. Keep in mind, this area of Oahu is a, a lot drier than most other parts of the island. Really, really pretty. Yeah, they did a great job designing that property. Again, there is a video tour. And over here you have uh, Makaha Towers. Uh, and then there's a uh, some townhome communities down here, the plantation, as well as Ocean View Estates was a gate community. Um, and then you have a beautiful beach down here called Makaha. Okay, now moving on to uh, Makiki Heights, 8.3 million. This is the last uh, new listing for the past two weeks. It's a large home, almost 8,300 square feet. Uh, large lot size of 46,000. Um, almost 300, six beds, six full baths, two half baths, built in 1996. So this is just outside of a uh, Honolulu area, right there, Makiki. Beautiful, really well ma well maintained grounds. I shot a diamond head. Very well maintained. Could use a refresh in some ways. But yeah, you're gonna just have some amazing views. I mean, on a daily basis, obviously. Need walk and shower. Yeah, there's quite the wine cellar. Elevator. There you have it. And then now moving on to sold listings. This home over in uh, the Hawaii Kai area, Nepali Haveo, uh, listed at 3.88 million, sold for 3.4. This was financing. So there were six um, uh, sold listings this past week, and three of them were cash. The other three were financing. I did tour this home. Um, it's been on the market for quite a while. Spectacular views and Really nice area down here, right on the ridge. You can kind of get to sit here and relax in the evening. Tough thing, it was a really hard dri drive driveway, uh, very tight to get to. And the home needed a little work. Uh, definitely the windows could all be replaced. And I mean, not much of a pool. And I talked about this with the listing agent. It'd be all, probably impossible to enlarge the pool. It's just way too, uh, Difficult to get machinery back there. But that's really, I mean, a huge selling point right there. Uh, those views. So end of the road, be very quiet, secluded.
Yeah, a lot of space. Just need a little little refresh. It was built in 2001. Moving on, we have this home in uh, Manoa area. Uh, 231 days on the market, sold for $200,000 below this price. I'll just show you a few pictures here. Really beautiful, well-maintained home in Manoa. Here's a home in a beach site in Kailua. Sold uh, for cash at list price. I think this is an off-market transaction. Another home over in beach side, Kailua. Uh, seven days on the market, actually sold above list price. I covered this one not too long ago. Neat home, nice location. And this is a neat home too. I built in 2020 in Lee I covered not too long ago. Sold for list price, 43 days on the market. On the North Shore, beautiful. Just show you a couple of pictures here. Really a nicely well-maintained home. And lastly, this is really a, a trophy property in my opinion. Um, it was only on the market for 22 days. Listed 8.75, uh, sold for 8.5 cash. Really quick closing, sold in about three, they closed the transaction in about three weeks. Originally built in 1991, remodeled in 2023. Um, this is just a spectacular home. I mentioned this when it first went on the market and I mean, that's just stellar. Yeah, so pretty quick transaction, 22 days on the market at that price point, but um, understandable for large home, almost 6,800 square feet, oceanfront in, in uh, Coco Kai, Portlock area, really hard to beat. And uh, that is your uh, update now for luxury homes for this past two weeks. I will definitely be back next week. Until then, if you have any questions, contact me anytime, and uh, I appreciate you tuning in. Take care.